Hello, my name is Andre. I am from Lumering. We are making access control automation and wireless devices. And today, with People Systems, we're making this video about Vigant, OSDP, and what is actually better in real world. And this can be a bit controversial because there are different opinions, and I would love to really hear what you think. So let's talk about vegan first. So here are example of the vegan reader. As you see, there are many wires that goes from this device. And this vegan protocol is actually was made in 70s. It was specifically developed for industrial technology for sensors. And then it was adopted by access control because it's simple, easy and reliable. And it has a lot of advantages. One of them that this is one to one connection. So this one cable goes to the port of the controller and that's it. This cable is there. Though there is inherent problem there, automation and industrial systems sensors don't need security and there is no security here. So you can actually connect to this cable and see what's passing through that. Also, it's one-way communication from control, uh, from actually from reader to controller. So controller doesn't even know if the reader is there or not. And there are many more cables because data goes on two of these strands and other cables are used for beeper, uh, LED and many other things. So this is a very widely used technology protocol communication, signaling protocol, and uh, it is reliable and it's all over the place, though it is not secure. Let's talk about OSDP. This is a newer protocol that runs on top of RS-485 wiring and it has a lot of advantages and advancements. One of them is security. Another one that this connectivity, this protocol is bidirectional. So controller would know if reader there or not. You also can do updates, firmware refreshes, many other things. So this is a big step forward but let's talk about the history this uh, connectivity uh, 485 protocol was also created for industrial use for sensors and it has inherited problems there because this is a serial protocol so devices are connected one to one in series and only one device can transmit data at a specific point of time so there is a disadvantage of this connectivity, this wiring, this protocol at the end to be subjective to denial of service attacks. And it's actually the same for Vigant. Though Vigant connects only one controller port to one reader. In case of OSDP connectivity on top of RS-485 wiring, these readers are normally connected in series and a one wire that goes to one port of the controller. Majority of controllers expect that. So you can connect up to 36 readers in real life less in on one wire, one after another. So if that wire gets compromised, that can affect the whole system. Though there is no way to see and read the data because you can use encrypted OSDP. There is OSDP 2.2, 2.0 secure channel with encryption enabled. In this case, the only damage that can be done, the system, these readers, on all readers on this line can be put down and not being available uh, if the cable is being compromised. Though there are also devices that support both OSDP and vegan wiring, but you see how many wires are here on this type of devices. So uh, this is not the easiest to install when you decide which way to go. That's why most of the solutions you, you go with vegan or OSDP. By the way, both these technologies, wiring protocols can be used on the same system, on the same controller. So vegan reader, and OSDP reader can be connected to the same controller if it supports it and most, most of new controllers do. Though it's not the same, not the same cable, cables are different, but you can do this. And there is a way that allows you to transfer and do, you know, uh, adoption of the system gradually. So the main question of this video, what is actually better, Vigant or OSDP? 
We will they be together for a while? Should we use one versus another one? And there are different type of scenarios, different types of thoughts. And so far, we see that these two technologies will be alive for a while. Access control is not changing momentarily. There are a lot of current installations. And there is also the way to reuse vegan wiring for OSDP slash RS485 in most of the cases. Though RS485 wiring and connectivity is more difficult, you're supposed to connect all these readers in chain and you're supposed to terminate the line with resistors appropriately. And there are more issues that might happen with that line. Once again, if that line gets compromised or damaged by some way, that will affect all and every readers on this line. Versus what's happening with the vegan, that's only one reader to one controller. Security, definitely with OSDP, secure profile security is way better. There is no way to see what's happening there on this wire. There's only one way is do denial of service or availability attack to get it down. Though in a properly configured system, you can actually detect it. There are many other ways how people can play with it, though it is at this point the most advanced approach. So every exhibition, every place where you have a concentration of specialists, everybody talks about the OSDP and advantages, uh, though there's still people using Vigant. And why is that happening? Because it's easy, it's already there, it's very simple and it's cheap. OSDP is coming uh, and it's already there. Uh, there are a lot of really amazing uh, devices and, and uh, solutions there that uh, and the pricing is coming down. So we see, I see myself with my experience over many years, I've been about 20 years in this industry already, that uh, this technology is going to be together for a while and eventually we're going to switch from one to another. And I'm sure there are more that are going to be coming in. Also, it's always fun to ask ChatGPT what, what is there and you see that ChatGPT will say vegan is dead. It's not dead. It will be there for a while for the uh, reasons that we already discussed. And uh, we are very interested to hear your opinion, what you think, what you see, what you'd like to hear in other videos. Uh, together with People Systems, we put this video out here uh, for everybody to have ability to discuss and uh, get the ideas out. Uh, in Lumering, we make devices that work with any of the systems. Wireless Vigant, these are two devices that are connected to each other over the wire, over wireless. So there is no wire there. So there is no way to wire tap into it. It gets additional security and advantages. Though, again, it's a different approach to the same type of technology. We still work with SDP and Vigant. We recently recorded video about wireless vegan as a technology and the devices. Please have a look at that for more details. Uh, we are delighted to hear your opinions, your uh, comments, and I will be personally answering them. Uh, we are thankful to uh, People Systems making uh, ability for us to put our voice and uh, helping small startups to get the information out. Uh, please subscribe to People Systems channels and uh, put your comments. Thank you.